How excited are you? Pretty pumped. Pretty pumped? Honest. Oh, yeah. We are very excited today. Today is day four. Yeah, four on the island. Day three of fishing. Spent the last two days walking on the coral reefs. Uh, none of us had any luck except for Aaron. Aaron right back there. He caught a GT this morning and last night. So he's the GT master. We are all just trying to catch something, right? We've got a couple more days left here on the island. So we're going we're gonna to see what... But today is different. Today we have kayaks, which is exciting because... As you guys have seen in the last video, my legs look like they went through a freaking cheese grater. So now we have kayaks, which is good. This is very, very good. Uh, hopefully, I don't know. It could be, could be worse, but at least, at least my legs won't be getting chewed up. We've got pretty much the rest of the day today. It's like one o'clock, and it gets dark around five or six here. So we're gonna, we're gonna spend the next few hours on a kayak. If I can get a GT on a kayak, I will do a. Let's do, let's do a, one thousand dollar giveaway of some sort. I'm just gonna just gonna just gonna put that out there. If I catch a GT on a kayak, I will do a 1,000 giveaway, 1,000 dollar giveaway for you guys. That's just gonna be this this little challenge that I'm gonna integrate into this video. Tomorrow we're taking boats out though. Anyways, I'm gonna quit talking. Let's go catch a GT. All right, boys. I'll let you. Know. I'll I'll be yelling when I catch my GT. Folks, we have made it on to. I believe we're in the Indian Ocean, and I'm on a kayak. Not sure if I'm gonna catch any fish or not, but it's uh it's very very hot. I'm soaked in sweat. My body is covered in cuts. My hands, my legs are completely shredded from walking in the coral. But I'm here to catch a GT. There's a fish. There's a fish. Woo! I don't know what it is, but it's a little baby. Even in India, I represent the flare fish gang. Ow! These guys got teeth. Well, it's no GT, but I guess I'll take it. See you, little guy. I don't know what kind of fish that is. Not a clue, but it's all right. It's a start. First fish so far. Good. There's a fish. There's a fish. Ooh, second fish. What do we got? What do we got? Hey, another flare fish. What's up, buddy? See you later, little guy. Second fish. Same species. Basically the same size. I'm going to make a move. I'm going to go somewhere else. We got to find the biggins. You ready? No. It is, is it day five on the island? It is 4.32 a.m. So early, going after GTs today on topwater poppers. Hopefully, we can catch a GT. Wow, I never get tired of waking up and seeing this. This is just absolutely gorgeous. Just islands and beaches and hopefully freaking GTs, baby. Got him, got him, got him, got him, fish on, fish on. Oh God, oh baby, let's go, let's go. How much line, a good amount? Holy crap, come on baby. Oh dear God, these fish are, look at this. That doesn't even budge. Oh my God. Oh my God, dude. What the heck? Oh my God. Oh no, he came off. Oh my God. Oh. He hit it first shot. Oh, that was my first hookup on a GT of the trip. I think it was the biggest GT of the trip. <laughs> well, that's great to hear. And uh, it broke. Yeah, they get down. You guys know we're walking in the coral. It's super sharp. That's why my hands look like crap. So that's what you deal with here. Bummer. Day four fishing. Finally had my first hookup. That's a good sign. I had a good feeling this morning. I was feeling... Uh, excited and ready to go and that's a good sign and hopefully we can do that again without breaking off did you catch anything caught a 
GoPro done. That's what I caught. Is GoPro, that your second GoPro? GoPro tally up to two. Yeah, so we both have two, so we've broken four GoPros. <sighs> um, it was funny though. Like I was, I, I couldn't really see because like the clouds or something. Like I couldn't tell where the reef was, and I literally like walked off the reef, and you like. Just and like, like, I was so scared. Like, I thought I got swept away. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't figure out like where the rocks were. It was so bad. Like, I thought I was dead. Like, I was like swimming with the rod. Like, I literally thought I was gonna like get swept in the Indian Ocean. That's how his morning went. He ventured off onto his own um, and tried to. Do you have any blow ups or anything? You had one blow up. Oh, uh, he had one blow up. That's kind of how our morning went. He broke a second GoPro. I've already broken two. I broke two GoPros the first day. And then I went to the waterproof one, and he insisted today to go with the non-waterproof one, in which, uh, yeah, he, uh, he he ruined that one. So we're down to four GoPros. He didn't he didn't catch anything. He had he said he had a coral trout. It's about it. And I had a needlefish blow up, and one GT hooked up for about 30 seconds before it ran into the coral and broke off. So kind of rough. I don't know what our, the rest of our plans are. I know uh, Aaron, which is our guide, he's trying to find us a boat. The reason why we don't have boats. On this trip, before we, before we even went to the, on this trip or booked our flights, the initial plan was to take boats out. Boats are the, is like the way to go. Like obviously like you can access a lot more water quickly and uh, you can just find the fish just like you do bass fishing. Well, I guess there's like a government ban on fishing boats for two months and we're like right in the middle of that. We're like, it's like one month deep. So no one knew about that before we got here. So we're basically trying to convince the locals to break, break the law somewhat. To take us out and uh, and pay us to pay them to take us out fishing. So that's kind of what we're in right now. And they won't even let us take the kayaks. Like we took kayaks out earlier, but that was from the kayaks shop. Like they had to keep an eye on us the entire time. We had to have like a guy from the shop go with us while we were fishing to make sure we didn't steal the kayaks. I don't know. I'm gonna get some breakfast. I'm starving. Hopefully, hopefully we can get a hold of some boats for tonight or even tomorrow. We have one. I see. We have the rest of the day today, and I believe one full day tomorrow is it on this island and uh, then it's back to India, and then it's back home to Nebraska. So, let's get some breakfast. Hopefully, catch a GT. Two hours later. Looks like GT country to me. Here goes nothing. Oh God. Good God. That one was brutal. As, as fun as that was, I'm gonna head back and change some change spots. These waves are a little too gnarly for me. The next day. We're now entering the jungle. We have to find, I don't know, I have honestly no idea what's going on. I'm just following one of the local guys who said that they'll take us out. In exchange, we bring some fish back for them to eat. Oh, your, uh, ye jo hai, isko ja ke utar dega, hai, udar. Udar jo beach ka side se fishing karna hai. Oh my god. Here, here, here. Right here? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready? Yes. Oh. Perfect. Easy peasy. Okay. What's that? You sit down here. Right. So we took a small boat. Is there a name for that boat? Uh, what that? What's that boat called? Just boat? Boat is Shubol. It's what? Shubol. Shubol? Shubol. We took a Shubol to a, I don't know if we're on an island or something. We went through some mangroves. Just, one of the more unstable boats I've ever been in my entire life. And uh, the plan was to take the small boat to a big boat to finally get out into the deep water to catch GTs, which is where the majority of them are. Like they said yesterday, they took the boat out and they caught like 40 of them. And we have yet to catch a single one in 
five, six days. We got out here, waves are too big to get the big boat. So now we're on an island and uh, we have to shore fish, which is what we've been doing the last five or six days. And uh, Perrick's not all that happy. And it's, it is no one's fault. Like, it's not our guy's fault. It's not the people that have been taking us. It's no one's fault. It's just, it's literally, I guess it is It is someone's fault. It's the government's fault. The government has a ban on boats. We have to, like, secretly do it. And the way we tried to do it today, which is, like, go with some locals and be all secretive and stuff, just did not, did not work out. So, I don't know, I don't know what the rest of the day has in store for us, if we're even going to be able to fish um, out here or if we're going to go back to our resort. It took us, like... I don't know, probably two hours to get out here, so we're a little bummed at the moment if you can't tell, but anyways, just want to give you guys a quick update on how life's going out on the Andaman Islands. We're going to get in the same boat we came out here on and just try to fish close to the coast of the beach since the tide's high and the waves are big. What do you think the odds are one of us falls out? Pretty high, I think. Right. Oh gosh. Well folks, we just finished up lunch. It is it's four o'clock. It's probably about four. Right? Four or four. Yep, finished up lunch. We got one last shot at catching a GT before we're headed home. And uh, we, the place we were eating uh, lunch had a few kayaks just laying around on the side and we paid them 10,000 rupees, which is $150, $150 US to take them out until dark, which is in about two hours. So if two hours, it'll be me and Saman in one kayak. We're gonna do, do a little bit of a double kayak action and everybody else is on their own. We're gonna see if Either Peric or I can land a GT once and for all. Thank you. All right, I'm ready, Simon. We're gonna have some GT destruction. All right, let's see if this catches a fish here. Today is actually the last day. We were supposed to get on a ferry tomorrow morning, and I think we got it changed to tomorrow afternoon, which means we have one morning left for me to catch a GT. And I tried to get the kayaks for tomorrow morning, and they would not. Like, I offered him like 500 US dollars, which doesn't sound like a whole lot, but to them, that's like a crazy amount of money. And he was like, no, it's too much of an insurance liability, blah, blah, blah. So what we did was we bought we we rented paddles which they don't do but we convinced them to let them let us take some paddles and I guess there was like a kayak like a like a two a dual kayak that is on the beach by our like hotel resort so we got paddles uh, hopefully that kayak is there tomorrow morning we're kind of just gambling on the kayak being there we didn't see it at all tonight uh, that's the plan we're gonna I'm gonna shower and we're gonna get some food I'm not gonna vlog any of that I will see you guys tomorrow morning it's a one person. Oh sh! How much trouble do you think we could get in if we took that boat in front of us? I mean, it's decent size. If I stood up, I just don't know how well balanced it is. But if I if I was standing, and you were you were sitting, I just don't know if it's gonna be stable enough for us. You just want to try try a single kayak for two people? Yeah. Okay. Don't do that. Ooh. Okay. That's not gonna work. Yeah, this isn't gonna work at all. Yep, the one kayak we found has a giant hole in it. Sick. It's okay. 
I'm gonna give you some other poppers and stuff to take in case this one breaks. Um, you just wanna go all in on the little guy. Yeah, let's go all in. All right. It's either all or nothing. I like the approach. <laughs> all right, folks, our plans on what worked. I'm on a kayak. No idea whose kayak it is. It was on the beach by our, our uh, hotel, and it was not a two-person kayak. The first one we found had a giant hole in it, so that didn't work. So Aaron, who's our guide, isn't gonna be able to come with me. So this is gonna be a solo mission. Should be very interesting. I've never caught a GT before. I have no idea really what I'm doing here. Um, I just have one popper, and if it breaks, then I'm just gonna head back and call it a day. Right now it's about 5 a.m., and I have until 7 before I have to get pack everything up and get on a ferry back to the mainland. So we've got a two-hour GT kayak fishing challenge. Starts now. How did that happen? Nice. Oh, just broke a rod. That's sick. So I broke a reel a few days ago. No idea how I did that. Just broke a rod. No idea how I did that. That concludes my uh, trip to India to catch GT. Well, folks, that is the end of the India videos did not turn out quite like I expected. It was still a fun trip. I don't regret it one bit. We just had a, a series of unfortunate circumstances uh, that, that we had to deal with, uh, mainly just the fact that we couldn't get on a boat, which I know I've talked about this in, in either this video or in the previous videos, whichever, however I edit this, but uh, essentially we just didn't get any boats in this, in this literally the second that we got kayaks, in front of our hotel which is where we knew where all the fish were parrot caught one last night and i i oh i had a shot at some tonight oh hey there's just, oh geez there's just there's just random dogs everywhere i broke a rod so i just took that as a sign that i should just get off the water and uh, just take the l for this trip like i said it was still a good trip i i mean i caught some fish i caught some some coral trout and what those little things were and it was a good it was a fun experience it's a good 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 time with uh with kieran and aaron simone and uh and Peric. so it was good it was a good time hopefully you guys enjoyed watching although i was unable to successfully land a giant trevally it was still a fun time anyways we uh the plan now is we have to go get on a ferry two hour ferry ride back to Port Blair, which is kind of like the capital. I think it's probably the capital, maybe the biggest city on the islands. And then tomorrow morning, flying to Delhi, India, staying at the staying for the day there. And then the next day fly to Chicago and then to Nebraska. So that's it. Gonna be spending the next 48 hours pretty much on an airplane and, uh, and headed back home. I'm not gonna make this video any longer though. If you guys do enjoy these India videos, even though I catch fish, leave a thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. Comment where you want me to go next. What foreign country or what species? Today, this this trip was targeting GTs in India. So let me know what species and or what country do you want me to go to next. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace. <laughs>